Okay, we're checking out Forrest Gump from 1994. Iconic. I mean, everybody's heard of Forrest Gump. I know it won like a ton of Oscars. Got Tom Hanks, who I love. Just saw him in Castaway, also directed by the same director. So I feel like it's going to be good. Same composer as Castaway too. And the music in that movie got me. A Robert Zemeckis film. Love Tom Hanks. I will watch anything with Tom Hanks. I like this piano. This music is telling me this is going to be kind of sad. Based on the novel. Has anyone read the novel? How is it? There he is. I mean, I've seen the, the cover of the movie of him sitting on the bench. Curious George. Hello. <laughs> My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. <laughs> so friendly. You want a chocolate? <laughs> My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. I've heard that. I've heard that. You never know what you're going to get. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> Those must be comfortable shoes. I bet you could walk all day in shoes like that and not feel a thing. His accent, wow. My feet hurt. Well, I'm always said it. there's an awful lot you could tell about a person by their shoes. Bex just wants to chit chat at the bus stop. I could remember my first pair of shoes. This is all one shot. Mama <laughs> said they'd take me anywhere. She said they was my magic shoes. So cute. Let's take a little walk around. His legs are strong, Miss Gump, but his back is crooked as a politician. I like scoliosis. Mama named me after the great Civil War hero, General Nathan Bedford Forrest. I was wondering about the name. He started up this club clan. Oh. And act like a bunch of ghosts or spooks or something. He doesn't really know. Not the best namesake. What are y'all staring at? Haven't you ever seen a little boy with braces on his legs before? Don't ever let anybody tell you they're better than you, Forrest. Aw, she's a good mom. Our house had been in Mama's family since her grandpa's grandpa's grandpa had come across the ocean about a thousand years ago, something like that. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Mama was a real smart lady. Remember what I told you, Forrest. You're no different than anybody else is. They're sweet, Mom and son. Your boy's different, Ms. Gump. <laughs> His IQ is 75. She wanted me to have the finance education, so... This kid is so cute. There must be something can be done. Is there Mr. Gump? Mrs. Gump? He's on vacation. Is he? Oh, is she sleeping with him so Forrest can go to the public school? Well, your mama sure does care about your school and son. Agreed. You don't say much, do you? Yeah, I don't think he's had any lines yet, the little guy. <laughs> Burn! Finally, he had to try. It looked easy, but... Is that the book, Curious George? First Mama, the... what's vacation mean? Yeah, where is the dad, really? Vacations when you go somewhere and you don't ever come back. And you just leave them? I guess you could say me and Mama was on our own, but we didn't mind. Our house was never empty. There was always folks coming and going. Papa. I love his accent, it's so friendly. One time, a young man was staying with us and Boy. he had him a guitar case. A guitar case. Say, man, show me that crazy little walk you just did there. Slow it down some. You ain't nothing but a... I like that guitar. Is it Elvis? <laughs> I started moving around the music. Look at this guy. This one night, me and Mama was out shopping. And guess what? He got the moves. Forrest showed him the moves. Amazing. Some years later, that handsome young man who they called the king had himself a heart attack or something. Must be hard being a king. He doesn't even really know. Are you coming along? Mama said not to be taking rides from strangers. I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. I'm Dorothy Harris. Well, now we ain't strangers anymore. <laughs> Forrest is a little sweetie pie. Oh, I hope they're not mean to him because of the braces. Slate's taken. Tiger, you can't sit here. Oh. You can sit here if you want. Oh. I have never seen anything so beautiful in my life. He fell in love. She's very sweet. I'm Jenny. I'm Jenny. Forrest, Forrest Gump. From that day on, we was oh. always together. Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. Best friends. Oh, this is so sweet. She helped me learn how to read. She taught him how to read. And I showed her how to swing. This is so cute. Sometimes we just sit out and wait for the stars. For some reason, Jenny didn't ever want to go home. She was my most special friend. Oh. Warming my heart. Now, my mom always told me that this miracles just happen free. every day. Some people don't think so, but they do. Hey, dummy! Oh, no. Run, Forrest! Run away! Hurry! I hate bullies. Run, Forrest! 
Forest, run! I've heard that. I've heard run, Forest, run. He's running pretty well with those on. Run, Forest! Oh, whoa. Oh, man. Busted out. He's like, oh, dang, I can run. Now, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. But I can run like the wind blows. Oh, shoot! See you later, bullies! This is so triumphant! Just running around town. That boy sure is a running fool. Oh, running fool. <laughs> now, remember how I told you that Jenny never seemed to want to go home? Her mama had gone up to heaven when she was five, and her daddy was some kind of a farmer. He was a very loving man. He was always kissing and touching her and her sisters. Oh. Jenny, why'd you come to school today? Shh! Jenny! Where'd you run to? Oh, Frig. Her dad's just abusive. So I can fly far, far, far away from here. Oh, poor baby. She went to live with a grandma. Some nights, Jenny'd sneak out and come on over to my house. They are best friends. Anyway, Jenny and me was best friends all the way up through high school. That got me kind of choked up about Jenny. Hey, stupid! Still picking on him? <laughs> run, for it, run! But well, we know we can run. Run, for it, in the truck, in the truck! They have a truck now with a Confederate flag on it. Yeah. Well, they can run! Is that the girl from The Princess Bride? I never thought it would take me anywhere. Holy! He is fast! And there is false Gump. He's a running fool. Just a local idiot. Well, stupid is as stupid does. And can you believe it? I got to go to college too. Oh, shoot! Oh my god, he's just standing there. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he can Oh my god, touchdown, score it! Oh, they love the running now. I don't know if he knows the rules, but he's running. <laughs> Just kept running. If you guys like watching movies with me over here, I would love if you could subscribe right down there. I do three new videos every single week. Federal troops enforcing a court order integrated the University of Alabama today. Oh, going to stand in What's going on? And they want to go to school with us. With us? Shortly after Governor Wallace. It... What's he going to do? They live with an hour more than they are for our brothers. We are with you, <laughs> right? He's so funny. Ma'am, you dropped your book. Campus has got the mob from gathering and <laughs> hey, what in the heck, go? He's just like oblivious. My bus is here. It was nice talking to you. He just wants to talk to whoever's there. I remember when that happened. Wallace got shot. I was in college. Because Jenny went to a college I couldn't go to. But I go and visit her every chance I got. Did he bring her something? Oh, <laughs> Brought you some chocolate. Aww. I'll go back to my college now. Forrest! Just trying to protect her. Look at you. Come on. You have a dream, Forrest? How are you gonna be? Oh, I'm gonna be. Aren't I going to be me? <laughs> I wanna be a singer like Joan Baez. I just wanna be on an empty stage with my guitar, my voice. Have you ever been with a girl, Forrest? Has he? I'm gonna guess no. Sit next to them in my home economics class all the time. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's alright. Does he even understand? That that never happened in home hack. No. <laughs> <laughs> that poor roomie. <laughs> Go, Forrest. <laughs> nice. Touchdown. They even put me on a thing called the All-America Team, where you get to meet the President of the United States. Oh, wow. President Kennedy met with the Khalifa. Now, the really good thing about meeting the President of the United States is the food. <laughs> He's so sweet. I must have drank me about 15 Dr. Peppers. <laughs> Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All-American? Does he have to pee? Congratulations. How do you feel? How'd they do this? I gotta pee. <laughs> I believe he said he had to go pee. <laughs> it's like... AI. I believe he said he had to go pee. Oh, Forrest. Sometime later, somebody shot that nice young president. And a few years after that, somebody shot his little brother, too. Must be hard being brothers. Must be hard being king. Must be hard being brothers. After only five years of playing football, I five got a years. college degree. Good job, buddy. Mama was so proud. Oh, she would be, wouldn't she? Congratulations, son. Have you given any thought to your future? Oh, the army? Hello, I'm Forrest. Forrest Gump. Help! I'm gonna give the hook you are, Puss Ball! <laughs> That's 
worse than the first bus. Oh my god. It is just like the first bus. At first, it seemed like I made a mistake. There's no Jenny on this bus. Sit down if you want to. He has a friend already. You ever been on a real shrimp boat? I've been working on shrimp boats all my life. When I was about maybe nine. Oh, I feel like these guys are going to get along. My given name is Benjamin Buford Blue. People call me Bubba. My name's Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. <laughs> Bubba's family knew everything they was to know about the shrimping business. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going into the shrimping business for myself. Okay. Okay. Now, for some reason, I fit in the army like one of them round pegs. You just make your bed real neat and remember to stand up straight and always answer every question with, Yes, Drill Sergeant. Yes, Drill Sergeant! <laughs> Otherwise, he's just completely quiet. Done, Drill Sergeant! Whoa! Go on. See, IQ is relative. Why did you put that weapon together so quickly, Gump? You tell me to, Drill Sergeant. Jesus H. Christ, this is a new company record. <laughs> you are going to be a general someday, Gump. And I don't think he takes anything personally, really. He could just, like, brush it off, so... Shrimp is the fruit of the sea. You can barbecue it. Shrimp is the fruit of the sea. Barley, bake it, saute it. Shrimp gumbo. <laughs> pan fry. Best bread. Shrimp soup, shrimp stew, shrimp <laughs> salad. I didn't know there was so much shrimp stuff. Shrimp burger, shrimp sandwich. That's, that's about it. <laughs> this movie's charming and funny. Hey, come get a load of the d***s on her. Is that Jenny? Turns out Jenny had gotten into some trouble over some photos of her in her college sweater, and she was thrown out of school. Oh, man. But that wasn't a bad thing, because a man who owns a theater in Memphis, Tennessee, offered Jenny a job singing in a show. That's what she wanted. Oh, is she just naked? How many rules must a man be Our dream had come true. Oh, he just sees the good in stuff, you know? I've got something here for you. Oh, hey, stupid Uh-oh. Is he gonna... He's gonna... He always protects her. Forrest, what are you doing here? Just gonna carry her off. You can't keep doing this all the time. You can't help it. I love you. He does love her. You don't know what love is. You remember that time we prayed, Forrest? You think I could fly off this bridge? She's still so traumatized. What do you mean, Jenny? That's what happens to kids. I gotta get out of here. Wait, Jenny. Forrest, you stay away from me, okay? You just stay away from me. I don't think she really knows what love is. So bye bye, Jenny. They sending me. To Vietnam. He's going to Vietnam? <gasps> just, if you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave. You just run, okay? Okay. I write you all the time. And just like that, she was gone. Will he see her again? He's going to Vietnam? Oh, boy. You come back safe to me. Do you hear? Ooh, good song, though. Forrest Gump in Vietnam. Oh, boy. But he's so sweet. Hey, I bet they shrimp balls in these ones. <laughs> I hope he gets some shrimp while he's there. You must be my FNGs. Morning, sir. Is he in the Green Mile? I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. Welcome to Fort Platoon. What's wrong with your lip? I was born with big gums, sir. Well, you better tuck that in. I'm gonna get that caught on a tripwire. <laughs> Where are you boys from in the world? Alabama, sir. You twins? <laughs> no, we are not relations, sir. They're too sweet together. There is one item of GI gear that can be the difference between a live grunt and a dead grunt. Socks. Push and sole, OD Socks? green. Try and keep your feet dry. Yeah, I heard about trench foot. Yeah, a bunch of you guys told me about trench foot on 1917. Ooh. I got to see a lot of the countryside, and we were always looking for this guy named Charlie. I'm worried about him. What was the casualty rate for soldiers in Vietnam? Lieutenant Dan was always getting these funny feelings about a rock or a trail, so he'd tell us to get down, shut up. Get down! Shut up! I love this narration, this storytelling. It's so good. Ah, uh, nothing. Still got ten clicks to go to that river. Move out! Well, something's gonna happen eventually. They're in Vietnam, for God's sakes. The good thing about Vietnam is there was always some place to go. Check out that hole. And there was always something to do. This does whatever he's told. No complaints. One day, it started raining, and it didn't quit for four months. Oh my god. That's the worst. Well, it's not the worst, but probably the least of their worries in Vietnam. I'm gonna lean up against you. You just lean right back against me. This way, we don't have to sleep with our heads in the mud. I'm so glad he has a friend. Hey, folks. Something I've been thinking about. How would you like to go into the shrimping business with me? Oh, I don't think he would ask just anyone. We can just live right on the boat. We ain't got to pay no rent. He's got notes. That's a fine idea. I even wrote Jenny and told her all about it. And 
the sky is gray. Oh, she's a hippie now. They're living two very different lives. Man, there's good music in this. This has got to be one of the best soundtracks. This one day, we was out walking like always. Somebody turned off the rain and the sun come out. <gasps> that wasn't Bubba, was it? Holy sh... Oh, that's Bubba. Get a helmet. <gasps> he should run. He should run. Pull back. Run, run, run. He knows how to run. Go, go, go. Oh, frig. He's so fast. I ran and ran just like Jenny told me to. Bubba was my best good friend. I had to make sure that he was okay. Careful. And on my way back to find Bubba, well, that was this boy laying on the ground. Tex. So I grabbed him up and run him out of there. Aw. And every time back. I went back looking for Bubba, somebody else was saying, help me, Forrest, help me. Just running everybody out. Just leave me here. Get away. Just leave me here. Get out. God, I said leave me here. God damn it. Wants him to leave him. Something bit me. Did he get shot? Oh, something bit me. Forget about me. Get yourself out. I got an airstrike inbound right now. They're going to nate the whole area. An airstrike inbound? I got to fight Bubba. Dude, dude, dude. Well, I mean, we know he lives. He's on the bench later. Pours. Uh, uh, okay, pours. <gasps> oh, no. Get him out of there. Is that the airstrike coming in? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The so lieutenant ordered that strike even though it would kill a lot of his own men just to get rid of the enemy. I want to go home. Bob was going to be a shrimp and boat captain, but daddy died right there by that river in Vietnam. That's all I had to say about that. And he'll talk forever, but not about that. It was <laughs> a bullet, wasn't it? That jumped up and bit you. Yes, sir. Bit me directly in the buttocks. The only good thing about being wounded in the buttocks is the ice cream. <laughs> Silver lining. Lieutenant Dane, I got you some ice cream. Lieutenant Dane, ice cream. <sighs> Poor Bubba. It's time for your bath, Lieutenant. Oh, frig. Gump. I'm Forrest Gump. Hello. That's a lot of mail. Big mail. Those are all his letters to Jenny. She never got them. You know how to play this? Come on, let me show you. Just eating ice cream. No matter what happens, never ever take your eye off the ball. <laughs> For some reason, ping pong came very natural to me. He's so focused. I played ping pong so much, I even played it in my sleep. Now, you listen to me. I should have died out there with my men. He's so mad. You see that? Do you know what it's like not to be able to use your legs? Well, yes, sir, I do. And from childhood. That was my destiny, and you cheated me out of it. You just need somebody to blame. I was Lieutenant Dan Taylor. You still Lieutenant Dan. Man, it would be so hard. Guy like that, army guy, physical guy, in charge. Now he can't even walk. BFC Gump, son. You've been awarded the Medal of Honor. Oh, wow. For carrying everybody out? What'd they do with Lieutenant Dan? They sent him home. Oh, good. I was hoping it wasn't that he, you know. Two weeks later, Ooh. I left Vietnam. Beep, 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 beep. President Johnson awarded four Medals of Honor. And another president. America owes you a debt of gratitude, son. His mom must be so proud of him. Where were you hit? In the butt talks, sir. I'd kind of like to see that. In the butt talks. Oh, nobody. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Showed his butt to the president. After that, I went out for a walk to see our nation's capital. Everywhere I went, I had to stand in line. They protesting? She just got shoved in line. You're a good man for doing this. Good. Okay. Okay, like doing what? Come on, man. What's he gonna say? Oh, Frig. Tell us a little bit about the war, man. Crazy. Is that like these historic moments? He's gonna say something sweet. There was only one thing I could say about the war in Vietnam. In Vietnam, you're. Oh, Frig. Get here! Get here! Oh, I wanna know. 
what he's saying. It's probably something sweet and profound that he doesn't even realize what he's saying. That's all I have to say about that. That's the right on, man. You said it all. <laughs> I'm sure he did. Boy! Boy! Is it Jenny? Jenny! Oh! Oh, good. I was hoping you'd get to see her again. He loves her so much. It was the happiest moment of my life. Yeah, I bet it was. Jenny and me was just like peas and carrots again. She showed me around and even introduced me to some of her new friends. Let me tell you about us. Is this the Black Panthers? This is Wesley. Wesley and I live together in Berkeley. We are here to offer protection and help. Yeah, it's got a panther. Because we, the Black Panthers, are against the war in Vietnam. We are against any war where black soldiers go to fight. All he cares about is Jenny. We are against all these racist and imperial dog acts. Uh oh, now you've done it. Frig! He should not be hitting you, Jenny. Come on, Forrest. He's so sweet. He just wants to protect her. Sorry I had a fight in the middle of your Black Panther party. He doesn't mean it when he does things like this, it doesn't. I would never hurt you, Jenny. He never would. I don't think Jenny knows how to be loved by someone. I wanted to be your boyfriend. She only knows men that treat her poorly, just like her dad, right? That's what happens. We walked around all night, Jenny and me, just talking. It was a very special night for the two of us. I'm glad he got to see her. Things got a little out of hand. It would never hurt you. You know that. That's bull. This is why women stay with men who abuse them, because they don't know how to leave. You should go home to Greenbow, Alabama! <laughs> She should let Forrest love her. You deserve it, Jenny. We have very different lives, you know. Are you giving it to her? I want you to have this. Why are you so good to me? Because he loves her. You're my girl. Oh. I'll always be your girl. They are best friends. Another great song. Just like that, she was gone, out of my life again. I wonder if he'll see her again. I mean, there's no cell phones, there's no email. She's moving around all the time. I thought I was going back to Vietnam, but instead they <laughs> decided the best way for me to fight the communists was to play ping pong. Look at him go. I was so good that some years later, the army decided that I should be on the All-America ping pong team. Frig! When I got home, I was a national celebrity. Here he is, Forrest Gump, right here. Just on the late night talk shows? He doesn't even realize how awesome he is. He just doing what he does. Oh my god, is that John Lennon? Can you uh, tell us um, oh my what was China like? In the land of China, people hardly got nothing at all. This is so cool. And in China, they never go to church. No religion too? Imagine, oh my god, did you just write imagine? They gave you Congressional Medal of Honor. Now that's Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan! Alright, well he's still alive. I'm glad. An imbecile, <laughs> a moron who goes on television and makes a fool out of himself. That's right. He earned yes, it. Sir. Yes, sir. He doesn't know how to be insulted. I love that. Lieutenant Dan said he was living in a hotel, and because he didn't have no legs, he spent most of his time exercising his arm. Flipping the bird or wheeling his wheelchair, or both. What do you do here in New York, Lieutenant Dan? I'm living off the government. He's He's perfect for New York, as far as I know. I've never been there. I stayed with Lieutenant Dan and celebrated the holidays. Have you found Jesus yet? No. I didn't know I was supposed to be looking for him, so. <laughs> I love him. I feel like I want to be friends with Forrest Gump. Before you go, why don't you get your ass down to the corner and get us another bottle of Rip? Yes, sir. Whatever you say, Lieutenant Dan. What the hell is in Bayou La Battery? Shrimping boats. I gotta buy me one of them shrimp boats. He's gonna go buy a shrimping boat? I'll tell you what, Gilligan, you know, the day that you are a shrimp Boat Captain, I will come and be your first mate. <laughs> Doesn't believe him. Well, he can make it happen. Forrest Gump can do anything. It's funny, but in the middle of all that fun, I began to think about Jenny. Of course he did. Does she have a black eye? She's not doing well. 1972. And I don't know if Forrest is really a... A party guy. I feel like he's just happy wherever he is, I think. Come on, come on, let's work together. Oh, what are you doing? He doesn't know what to do. What did you try to do for something? What did you say? <laughs> don't call him stupid! Hey, don't try to punch her! He's offending him. Oh, he's so Get out of here! <laughs> you freak your eyes! Luca, you freak! He was just offending him. Oh, no. 
How the heck did they do this? Poor Lieutenant Dan. I'm sorry Dan. I ruined you. New Year's Eve party, Lieutenant Dan. She tastes like cigarettes. Oh. <laughs> he didn't want to be called crippled, just like I didn't want to be called stupid. We all have something. A few months later, they invited me and the ping pong team to visit the White House. Again. <laughs> again. Again. And I met the President of the United States again. He's over it. So are you enjoying yourself in our nation's you capital, young man? Yes, sir. Well, where are you staying? It's called the Hotel <laughs> Ebot. Oh, I know of a much nicer hotel. It's brand new. I can't, I can't believe they're putting him in all this footage. This is awesome. Over to that office across the way. The lights are off and they must be looking for a fuse box or something because in flashlights, they're keeping me awake. No, is it Watergate, Nixon? Good night. Shut up. Did he just report Watergate? <laughs> I shall resign the president. Oh my God, he's just, event. they're just inserting him into every important thing in history. I love it. I have your discharge papers. Service is up, son. Does this mean I can't play ping pong no more? And just like that, my my service in the United States Army was over. He was just gonna keep it. So I went home. <laughs> you could probably keep it. It's probably fine. He's gonna run all the way home. Home to his mama. I'm home, mama. We've had all sorts of visitors for us. Everybody <laughs> wants you to use their ping pong stuff. Oh my. I didn't stay home for long because I'd made a promise to Bubba. So I went on down to Biola Battery to meet Bubba's family. Oh, are you crazy? Or just plain stupid? Stupid is stupid does, Miss Blue. I <laughs> guess. I guess. And of course, I paid my respect to Bubba himself. His best good friend. I'm taking the $24,562.47. Are you stupid or something? He just gave him all of it. He's getting a shrimp and bow. I'm really sad that Bubba isn't there. Look at him. It's making me tear up thinking about him doing this for his friend Bubba. Shrimping is tough. That's it. I only caught five. Oh boy. Hey, you ever think about naming this old boat? It's bad luck to have a boat without a name. There was only one I could think of. The most beautiful name in the wide world. Of course. What's she up to? <laughs> Yeah, she's probably fried from all that 60s, 70s scene. Oh, Fred, she's in deep. Look at her. She's all strung out. Frig. Girl. Girlfriend. Jenny's whole story is making me so upset. She should go be with Forrest. He would treat her well. I thought about Jenny all the time. But I don't know if she's really in love with him. Maybe he's more like a brother or best friend. <gasps> Came to see him. <laughs> uh, dude, don't leave your boat. <laughs> so happy to see him. He jumped right off his boat. Oh, good. I'm happy he's still around, too. What are you doing here? Thought I'd try out my sea legs. But you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dane. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be mad at him, though, you know? I told you, if you were ever a shrimp boat captain, that I'd be your first mate. Yes, he did. Uh. <laughs> it's my boat. <laughs> Take a left! Which way? Over there! They're over there! Oh, look at him. That's where we're gonna find those shrimp, my boy! <laughs> That's he looks where happy. We're find oh, Frank. Ew. So much trash in the water. Where are all the shrimp? Still no shrimp, Lieutenant Dang. What would Bubba do? Well, how are we gonna find them? Well, maybe you should just pray for shrimp. <laughs> so I went to church every okay. Sunday. Sometimes Lieutenant Dang came too. I think he left the praying up to me. Everyone around Forrest has so much like PTSD. I think being with Forrest helps them. No, no shrimp. shrimp. Where this God of yours. It's funny Lieutenant Dan said that, because right then, God showed up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh no. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Get inside, dude. It's not safe to be on deck like this. Now me, I was scared. Lieutenant Dan, he was mad. <laughs> oh, he's working out all his problems. <laughs> Hurricane Carmen came through here. Yeah. Hurricane. Only one shrimping boat actually survived the storm. Oh boy. He's got a horseshoe. After that, shrimping was easy. 
Oh, boy. We were the only boat left standing. Bubba Gump shrimp's what they got. Bubba Gump shrimp. We got a whole bunch of boats. 12 Jennies. Bubba Gump shrimp. It's a household name. Oh, my God. Are you telling me you're the owner of the Bubba Gump Shrimp Corporation? We got more money than David Crockett. <laughs> He's just a millionaire. I heard some whoppers in my time, but that tops them all. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. He's so successful. Would you like to see what Lieutenant Dan looks like? Yes, I would. She's, I think she thinks he's lying too, but she just thinks it's nice. That's him right there. On Fortune Magazine. And let me tell you something about Lieutenant Dan. Look at his little smile. I never thanked you for saving my life. He looks happy. <laughs> Look at him, he's so peaceful. I think he made his peace with God. Yeah, good for him. Let's move forward, escape possible assassination today. Based Is it Squeaky from? His mama said. Oh no. Follower of Charles Manson. Oh, it was from. President. Just jumped, ran home. Oh, his mama, yeah. Hi, forced. We sure got you straightened out, didn't we, boy? Oh, thanks to the braces. What's the matter, mom? I'm dying, forced. Come on in, sit down over here. Uh, Why are you dying, mama? It's just my time. I happen to believe you make your own destiny. You have to do the best with what God gave you. She's a wise woman. Life is a box of chocolates, forced. You never know what you're gonna get. Mama. Always had a way of explaining things so I could understand them. Oh, he keeps saying the same stuff over and over again, but it's different each time. She had got the cancer and died on a Tuesday. I bought her a new hat with little flowers on it, and that's all I had to say about that. That's what he says whenever it's something really sad. Didn't you say you were waiting for number seven, bud? There'll be another one along shortly. She wants to stay. I never went back to work for Lieutenant Dan, though he did take care of my Bubba Gump money. He got me invested in some kind of fruit company. Frig. Saying we don't have to worry about money nope. no more. And I said, that's good. One less thing. <laughs> He's so sweet. <gasps> Friggin' invested in Apple. Okay. I gave a whole bunch of it to the Four Square Gospel Church. And I gave a whole bunch oh, wow. to the Bio the Battery Fishing Hospital. Yeah, he must have made a lot of money. Tenant Dan said I was nuts. I gave Bubba's mama Bubba Shea. <laughs> Yeah. And cause I was He's a such a good dude. I like doing it so much. What a gazillionaire. I cut that grass for free. Just something to do. Probably I love him. But at night time, when there was nothing to do, I'd always think of Jenny. She back? He has to see her again. But now what? Mama's gone. They made all the money, doesn't even need to work. Yeah, what does he do? Just loves cutting grass. Living in the same house he grew up in. And then she was there. For real this time? Hello, Forrest. Hello, Jenny. Oh. Jenny came back and stayed with me. How can you do this? Sometimes I guess there just aren't enough rocks. <laughs> It was like olden times. We was like peas and carrots again. Every day, I'd pick pretty flowers and put them in a room. This is so sweet. We was like family, Jenny and me. And it was the happiest time of my life. Will you marry me? Oh, will she? You don't want to marry me. Why don't you love me, Jenny? I think she does. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. See, that was a very telling answer. You don't want to marry me. This girl has trauma that she hasn't even dealt with yet. Jenny. Forrest, I do love you. Yes, she does. She's leaving. Where are you running off to? I'm not running. Sure seems like it. Oh, she left the metal. Maybe that's the last time he sees her. I don't think she knows how to love somebody or be loved. That day, for no particular reason, I decided to go for a little run. For no particular reason, I just kept on going. I ran clear to the ocean. <laughs> oh my. Look at his hair. When I got there, I figured since I'd gone this far, might as well turn around. Just keep on going. Might as well. When I got to another ocean, I might as well just turn back. Keep right on going. Keep on going, huh? So, you just ran. <laughs> yeah. Just ran for how long? <laughs> He's a running fool. 
Look at his hair. He must be running for like a year. I'd think a lot about Mama, Bubba, mm -hmm. and Lieutenant Dane. Yeah, you'd have a lot of time to think. Most of all, I thought about Jenny. His one true love. For more than two years now. Two years. Stopping only to sleep has been running across America. Oh, well, there she is. Okay, so she knows. Why are you running? Are you doing this for world peace? What's he gonna say? They just couldn't believe that somebody would do all that running for no particular reason. I just felt like running. <laughs> Fair enough. I can't believe it's really you. I said, here's a guy that's got his act together. Here's somebody who's got it all figured out. So, I got company. And after that, I got more company. Oh, wow. Go your way. Here, use this one. Nobody likes that color anyway. Have a nice day. Well, some years later, I found oh, out my that God. man did come up with an idea for a t-shirt. He made a lot of money off of it. The first emoji. Wow. It's reminding me of Terry Fox. If you're Canadian, you know who that is. My mom always said, you got to put the past behind you before you can move on and i think that's what my running was all about i had run for three years three years just to put the past behind him just decided to stop quiet quiet he's gonna say something i'm pretty tired <laughs> yeah i think i'll go home now just turn around. And just like that, my running days was over. Sometimes it's just time to stop. At 2.25 p.m. as President Reagan was leaving... Elfrig, Elfrig. So many assassinations. One day, out of blue clear sky, I got a letter from Jenny wondering oh. if I could come down to Savannah, and that's what I'm doing here. Oh, where, where we arrived at the present. You don't need to take a bus. Henry Street is just five or six blocks down that way. A week run six blocks it was nice talking to you uh -huh. works out for you. me too he's going to see jenny hey Boris. Come well, in. she looks Come good in. i got your letter i was hoping she wouldn't be like all strung out okay good good i want to apologize for anything that i ever did to you because i was messed up for a long time and you know Hey, Maybe she's doing like a 12 step hey, program. <gasps> she has a kid. He's so cute. Little Mr. Trump. Is that Hello? the kid from the sixth sense? Oh, can I go watch TV now? Yes, you can. Just keep it low. Oh my god, he's so sweet. Oh, You're a mama, look at him. Jenny. I'm a mama. She cleaned up her act. She's a mama. His name's Forrest. Oh. Like me. That's I named him after his daddy. Oh, oh. Oh, what's he gonna do with that? That's a lot to lay on a guy. Look at me, Forrest. She didn't even There's tell him. you need to do, okay? You she got pregnant and had him? Wrong. She's telling him now. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Is, is he smart or did he? He's very smart. He's one of the smartest in his class. Oh, he was worried that he was going to be dumb. <laughs> Just watching Bert and Ernie. What are you watching? Bert and Ernie. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Just like him. Forrest, I'm sick. Oh, no. I'll take care of you if you're sick. You will. Would you marry me for us? Okay. Oh, he's always wanted to marry her. Hi. She's Every beautiful. Time. He's loved her since he first met her on the bus. He's walking. Lieutenant Dane. He's got prosthetics. Looks good. Hello, Forrest. You got new legs. Custom made. Titanium alloy. Good for you. Do you, Forrest. This is so sweet. I'm happy for him. And they got a little kid, a little forest. He's a good man. He deserves to be happy. Hey. Hey. Were you scared in Vietnam? Yes. Of course. Sometimes it would stop raining long enough for the stars to come out. And then it was nice. Silver lining. It was like just before the sun goes to bed down on the bay. Those old million sparkles on the water. Like that mountain lake. It was so clear. He's been everywhere. I wish I could have been there with you. You were. Oh. I love you. You died on a Saturday morning. I had you placed here under our tree. And I had that house of your father bulldozed to the ground. Good. Mama always said dying was a part of life. I sure wish it was. Man. Little Forrest is doing just fine. I make his breakfast, lunch, yes. and dinner every day. He'd be such a good dad. I make sure he combs his hair, brushes his teeth every day, teaching him how to play ping pong. Still talking to Jenny. Forrest, you go. They're so alike. We fish a lot. You'd be so proud of him. Here, wrote you a 
a letter. Poor baby, he's so young to lose his mom. I don't know if we each have a destiny. We're all just floating around accidental like on a breeze. But I, I think maybe both is happening at the same time. See, he's very wise. I miss you, Jenny. If there's anything you need, I won't be far away. He only got a little bit of time with her. Here's your bus. Hey. Oh. I know this. My favorite book. That feather fellow. I want to tell you I love you. I love you too, Daddy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you understand this is the bus to the school now, don't you? Of course. And you want Dorothy yours. And I am forced to. Oh my god, he's so cute. Well, he always has a piece of Jenny now. <laughs> Just like the beginning. Okay guys, well that was Forrest Gump. And I feel like that movie had a little bit of everything in it. There was so much to it. It's very dramatic. I cried in multiple places, but we also had a lot of funny moments, a lot of humor, a lot of sad parts. There was war, there was huge historical cultural moments and, and Forrest Gump was, was there through all of it. This was such an epic story. I really, really liked it. Tom Hanks was so good. I actually forgot I was watching Tom Hanks. He disappeared into this character. I could totally see why he won the Oscar for best actor for this. The music was standout. Is this the best soundtrack ever? Maybe? That's a big claim to make, but man, just the absolute classic rock soundtrack was so good. It kind of blew me away. Just the songs they were able to include in this. I wonder how expensive that was to get the rights to all that music. I can't even imagine. This one was so good. I just really liked it. There's just so much to it. We go through his entire life. I love the narration all the way through. I love the character. I loved Forrest Gump as a character. It's tricky to have a character that doesn't seem to have any flaws and feel like you can relate to them. You know, I mean, I guess he did have flaws. He was, you know, people, everyone thought he was stupid. He really was just like a shining light in everyone's life. And, you know, I think a lot of the side characters in this movie were very flawed and were struggling a lot and had been through traumatic things. So did Forrest, but he didn't seem to have the PTSD that everyone around him had. He just seemed to make everyone's life better just by being in it. I feel like I could watch that one again. There's just so much to it. I had every emotion in there. I'd love to hear some thoughts from you guys what you think of this movie. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.